And this is Martin Morden, one of the projects in D9. Two plus study unit that we have been talking about. The whole design theme of the home is already designed for you in a very minimalist fashion. Rolling, are you ready? <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> and this is Martin Morden, one of the projects in D9 River Valley and Martin Road that a lot of people have been waiting for his TOP to happen. And right now, he has just achieved his TOP status. It is completed. It's great for your own state if you are looking for a D9 address. And Property Bros is heading up to a 2 plus study unit right now. And join us for this home tour if you are a River Valley lover. And let's go. This is the place that the moment you come up, you hit this lawn space, which is great. We're already elevated above ground level. Okay, just look at the amount of facilities. So you have tennis court, forest, pavilions. On top of each tower, there is like secret garden at the top as well. Infinity pool on this portion so that allows you to overlook towards this direction here. So there's this like, I think your kids will enjoy this. Let's head back. Alright, so we're here, come on in and I uh, hope you had a great time at the facility zone. So this is the 2 plus study unit that we have been talking about. 883 square feet, pretty unheard of in today's context. So Martin Model, when it was launched a couple of years back, it was the widely anticipated project because on paper it looks so beautiful. So what happened was that Guaco Land, they got in this architect which is a four-time President Design Award winner. If you look at his profile, the design is simply fantastic because the theme of Martin Modern was to have a District 9 address home within the Botanic Gardens kind of concept. So when you drive in, you will notice that the entry arrival area is simply fantastic because they're all built by this very natural looking kind of high walls. It doesn't feel like a very concrete kind of style. It's really more of like a nature, luxury, modern, and yet minimalist kind of project design. When we enter the facility, you'll notice that actually the entire project is being elevated upward. And what that means is that your kids are also entering into a place that uh, there's a lot of safety involved. You can, they can just head down to level one or maybe basement one. They can enjoy the facility zone. Something to notice is that when you drive in, you can either drop off at the arrival plaza and that will then lead you into the concierge uh, service area where there's a counter to welcome you and your guests. The orientation is a little bit different because when you drive back you hit towards basement 2 first and from basement 2 you can drive upwards towards basement 1. In terms of the number of units right here, 450 units and what's surprising is that there are 450 car park lots as well so it's like a one-to-one -one kind of basis. So if you notice, the first thing that when you enter into this 2 plus study, this is at stack 11. 2 plus study occupies 3 of the stacks out of 15 stacks. So over here when Guaco launched it, the positioning of this project is like an almost 80-20 kind of segregation in terms of the building occupying the land as well as uh, the landscaping occupying the land. And if you have noticed the amount of lawn space right here is also simply fantastic and adding on to the fact that on top of tower 8 and tower 10 there are only two towers occupying 15 stacks there are roof gardens on top of each tower apart from the fact that you get already a lot of lawn space on level one you also get a very nice size infinity pool plus you have a tennis court within this project so 450 units is made out of two beta two plus study three bit three bit premium as well as four beta occupying a total of 15 stacks five of the stacks belongs to two betas three of the stacks belongs to two plus study and then you have another three stacks uh, belonging to three betas three bit premium two stacks four bit premium two stacks what are some of the key things to note is that if you're looking for 2 plus study, there are only 3 stacks. One of the stacks is at stack 11, the other stack is far backwards at tower 8 that is nearer to the corner of the project as well. The other stack will be facing towards the pool, so we'll leave that up to you on which orientation do you prefer. This uh, 2 plus study layout is very suitable if you're not looking for the typical 2 bedroom uh, which is about 764 square feet. So the layouts are pretty much similar other than the fact that this one has an additional study space. So if you're looking for the extra study 
money space, this is great for you because the next category would then be the three bed kind of category which would then have a huge jump in terms of the overall quantum because the size jump is also pretty significant. So very suitable for young couples, families who are with no kids or maybe you have uh, one child that can occupy one of the common room and yet you want to have additional space for your work from home zone. Martin Modern is being located in a very interesting area. We are right across this project called Rivergate. Right behind Rivergate, that will then bring us to the Singapore River. This is very suitable if you're looking for that kind of really unblocked kind of view. The key reason is because right across, you have uh, River Valley Primary School. You have a telco building right in front, which is a short building. And that sort of like protects your view in a sense. As you head downstairs, you just need to get across towards uh, Singapore River and then you can just walk along the river. That's going to bring you to Great World City, perhaps about a five minutes walk. The MRT station is right beneath uh, Great World City and there's also a lot of different entry points to the train station as well, stretching all the way across towards Irwell Hill residences on the other side. So the station is quite huge and what's important is that this is the Thompson East Coast Line and it's one station to Orchard and when you come up, there's Orchard Ion already. This is definitely one of the lines that a lot of people are anticipating. So we are in a very nice uh, locale because you get the convenience that you want from Great World that you can do shopping right there. But at the same time, you're also just right beside Robertson Key. Robertson Key, as everybody knows, is the very famous part of Real Valley area that uh, gives you a lot of F&B options. Most importantly, families that love to live here within the River Valley, Robertson, Great World City area and the Martin area, they want to live in the part of D9, having that address in the D9 zoning. And at the same time, it's a little bit more nature in the sense that it's not too busy and uh, they really get to enjoy family life over the weekend because if you cross over the Singapore River, you can just jog both ways. One side will lead you towards the Orchard portion, one side will lead you towards Clark Key portion. So it's linking the entire Clark Key all the way towards River Valley, towards Orchard. It's a beautiful part of D9. So let me just show you where is the study area. So this is the study room and uh, what is unique is that the developer has given different kinds of layout even for the 2 plus study kind of concept. The first concept is that you have an open study area the moment you enter through the main door. Second and third kind of concept has this pre-built sliding panel a glass door that's already tinted with dark glass. We are in the 883 square feet kind of config stack 11. We we'll say it's one of the very good facing because right in front of you, you do not see any other neighbors, you do not see any other stacks within Martin Modern and you get this nice entry for your zone. So you might be wondering, hey, what is this zone for? Because typically the corner stacks will get a nice foyer area and I think what Guaco did well was that uh, they have given pre-built carpentry right here. So even within a DB box area, this is the place for you to put in your router and stuff. And then this entire two panels, these are all for your shoes. So all these are really pre-done for you. Firmax intercom system, switches are done very well. Yo, digital lock. So main door is also pretty high. And in fact, as we enter, you'll notice that the ceiling height is about three meters. I think that the kitchen area has been very nicely done because starting from this portion, these are all storage space and it's also a great space that adds like a storeroom kind of concept so you can put in like your vacuum cleaner, you can put in tall items right here. The closing portion very long lasting and then as you open up, it's a space for your washer cup dryer. So it comes with Whirlpool, your fridge, smack brand bottom freezer, Miller microwave oven. So if you look at the whole design theme of the home, it's already designed for you in a very minimalist fashion. Especially even for here, you get this very thick backsplash over here to fill in the gap and that links all the way with a tempered glass backsplash. So these are all very, I think, well planned by the developer and uh, Miller brand in terms of its cooker hood and hob, induction, you have three burners. There's like a magic corner drawer right here. Is already done for you. A lot of thought process. This is the part that you need to have a look because there's internal pull-outs, soft closure. So very well done. And you can actually put in a sliding panel glass all the way here, right from here to this direction. And that would then enclose the entire kitchen if you need to do very heavy cooking. There's also a nice L wall that allows you to put in a six-seater comfortably. If you don't want to have this kind of concept, you want to have maybe put in two high chairs right here. Balcony size is just about right. Ceiling height, 
quite similarly stretches all the way to the balcony area. You have this huge span view. So this direction is towards the southwest direction. You do get a slight tilt angle afternoon sun from here. What the owners have done is that they have paid for this louvers. So this will shed off a little bit of afternoon sun. The tilt angle afternoon sun will come to about this area right at your living room wall. But if you were to close up this, so basically you don't get much of the tilt angle afternoon sun. As you head towards the bedroom, as you can see, southwestern direction for stack 11, the sunlight will come up to here. As you come to the common bath, so this is a two bed, two bath plus study, rain shower, marble tiles finishing, ventilation windows, very important. You do not see any windows of your neighbors, so they are facing towards the other side, towards Robertson. And thus, this gives you privacy as well. You have this storage space over here, Jerobit fittings, and then you have Exor brand. Pretty nice design. So it's like an all-in-one version, very solid finishing, which is going to be very long-lasting for you and your family. So we're heading into the master. Yeah, so the size is eight, three square feet, asking price at 2.6 million negotiable. Ready to move in immediately. Yeah, just TOP queen bed over here. We have put in side table at that direction. Wardrobe is definitely nicely done. You have pull-outs over here. All nicely done for you already. This is the other side of the wardrobe space. TV console. So similarly, you're having the same enjoyment of view towards the front of the house. Also, it's slightly bigger than the common bathroom. Great thing is that they have their own ventilation window. Standing shower is also bigger. You have some area here for you to put in your toiletries, rain shower, very nice size mirror that has already been done. And I think if you need a little bit more space, you can still construct a little bit of carpentry work, but not touching the base. We also like the fact that a lot of smaller details are like this kind of metal material door frames. It's all very long lasting. There's a dehumidifier in the bedroom as well. Alright, so for this segment, let's have a look at five design ideas that you can make the moment you buy over this brand new apartment that's just received its TOP. So over here, you can do up a continuation of a dining bench that is uh, fixed to the L wall right here with bottom storage space that links all the way to the living room area and this allows you to build up perhaps a bigger couch area and that links back towards the dining zone. So when you have done that, this space technically is being freed up and that allows you to build some very nice interesting features into this corner plus you can have a nice chest of drawers or I would recommend you to build all the way upwards towards the top of the ceiling with a beautiful bookshelf. You can also come to this portion of the TV console wall and build all the way up to the top with a beautiful bookshelf that's not too thick and uh, that's perhaps like an open bookshelf concept with a nice 55 inch TV right in the middle. For your master room, at the top corner here, you can top up storage cabinets and that will perhaps cost you about $1,000 to $2,000 depending on the types of materials that you go for. That's the best space for you to tuck in your luggage space. And I would recommend this portion of the bedroom wall to put in a nice TV console that's not too thick as well but that allows you to hide your TV panel right within this wall giving you still extra storage along the entire circumference of the television. Hello, I've been waiting for you Come with your friends and show me something new Okay, if you look at the entire D9 landscape, D9 is definitely something that a lot of people love to live in because this is definitely the most popular district in Singapore. What's something great about the TOP project is that when you buy this property, you will be the first one to live in here officially because the first owner actually bought this place for investment purpose but there's been a change of plans. They're looking to exit and then buy a bigger place and thus, this home is looking for the next homeowner and this is great especially if you do not want to wait for a new launch to take about three to four years to complete. It has also not been put in the market for rental. It's purely looking for somebody that is uh, looking to buy immediately for their own occupation. So I think this unit is perfect for you if you're looking for an own stay option. All right, so we've come to the end of this home tour. And if you like what you see, give a call to our listing managers. Uh, their names and numbers are all right down 
in this corner below. And uh, do remember to follow Property Brothers on our Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok channel. And click the like and subscribe button to support us for our content and to keep yourself abreast of the next upcoming home tours. And uh, if you want to have a nice deep dive on the CCR uh, insights report done by our Property Brothers Insights team, uh, there's a link right down below in the description box. And we'll send you this free report done by our research team on the CCR performance in the year 2021 and why the central core region is in prime time now for 2021 all the way moving onwards towards 2022 and this might be the place that you want to own a property in in District 9 Singapore and uh, once again my name is Melvin Lim thank you for seeing us throughout within the home tour and uh, we hope to see you soon meantime take care and uh, as always happy to show the place Rolling, are you ready? Yeah. Okay, ready, go. Welcome. <laughs> For your work from home zone. So, let's come back uh, to the locale. If we look at the street directory map, you'll notice that Martin Modern is being located in the very... <coughs> I think I better close this up. <laughs>